the bread is 10 pounds heavy, requiring 800 pounds of flour a day. A big sister born in the 90s relies on her daily income. Originally, she was a workshop worker, but she saw an opportunity online for this giant taiyaki, which she thought had a good market and decided to start a business. She spent 80,000 yuan learning the production method and opening a shop. With its novel style and unique taste, the taiyaki quickly gained popularity. To achieve this, the big sister's own efforts were indispensable. She still gets up early every day to start the day's preparations. The taiyaki mold is also very large and made of crystal iron. To open the lid, she needs to use the power of a pulley hook. She wipes the taiyaki mold clean and then uses a specially made lighter to ignite the fire. Before putting it on the stove, she checks the temperature, which should be between 80 and 85 degrees Celsius. When it reaches the appropriate temperature, she pours in the batter. When the bottom has partially solidified, she adds the red bean paste filling that has already been prepared. The red bean paste is finely ground and very soft and delicious. Then she scoops out a few pieces of meat paste and puts them in. At this point, there is already a lot of filling inside, but for the big sister, it's still not enough. She tells us that the filling is the soul of the taiyaki. Adding more can achieve a bursting sensation in one bite and leave a lingering fragrance in the mouth. Then she takes out some butter and puts it in the gap between the fillings. She uses the different flavors of butter, but the big sister still doesn't show any signs of stopping. She takes out handcrafted cheese crumbs and puts them in. Finally, to finish it off, she can pour more batter on top. However, if the batter is too thin or there is too much filling, it may not completely cover the filling. In this case, she needs to cover the mold with its lid and heat it for 30 minutes to bake it. This time is enough to solidify the batter inside. When she opens the lid, she can see that some areas are still weak, and the filling inside is visible through the thin skin. She adds some nuts on top, which not only adds more nutty aroma but also makes the surface crispy. Then she pours some more batter to thicken the weak spots and prevent leakage. After molding, she slowly lowers the mold and the heavy lid. The excess batter inside is pressed out, and then it is slowly baked over low heat for two hours. When it's done, she can open the lid to see the yellow fish body with its vivid texture. The aroma fills the air as it is placed on filter paper for packaging. With this, one taiyaki is ready. With its crispy crust and juicy filling, just one look makes your mouth water. Do you think this delicious treat is reasonably priced?